According to Gödel's incompleteness theorems, within every logical system, there are some true statements we cannot prove. To clarify, this is an imperative deficit, from which all logical systems suffer, and by claiming that metaphysically, the world adheres to logic, implicitly, we must accept the existence of metaphysical inconsistencies. To conclude, regardless of what we believe in, through careful rational analysis of our world, we will always reach the conclusion that metaphysically, inconsistency must exist. If we believe in a completely inconsistent metaphysical theory, we will believe metaphysical inconsistency encapsulates our entire experience in this life. If we believe in an inconsistent metaphysical theory, then inevitably, somewhere along the arguments supporting our persuasion, there will be concepts, which we cannot explain rationally, such as the answer to the question, what was before the beginning of time? For example, and for all intended purposes, the metaphysical existence of elements we cannot explain rationally, reflects a metaphysical inconsistency. Still, considering the conclusions we reached in this chapter, even inconsistent metaphysical theories, inconsistent elements, which are limitless in both potential and ability, must exist, and actually affect our reality. Due to Gödel's incompleteness theorems, we know such elements simply must be. Therefore, metaphysically, regardless of what we believe, and regardless if we want to think about it or not, inconsistency must exist. Furthermore, because inconsistent elements are limitless, and because metaphysically, inconsistent elements must actually exist, they must be omnipotent. They must actually possess the potential and powers, equivalent to that of, God. However, as we suggested at the end of, Delta Theory, because the physical logic assumes nothing but consistency and existence, the same conclusions regarding metaphysical inconsistencies apply to practically any metaphysical theory. The only elements or entities, which theoretically, can negate the existence of these omnipotent inconsistent elements, must at the very least be equivalent in potential and power to these inconsistent elements, for the mere act of negating their metaphysical potency. Therefore, in effect, such elements are inconsistent elements as well, as to negate such omnipotent elements, at the very least, metaphysically, they must match their inconsistency attributes. And so, we come to the disturbing conclusion, that regardless of what we choose to believe, there is something in the world in itself that has unlimited potential and power, and which really affects our reality.